Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm grateful to be here today to share my thoughts about sending our Central Coast kids back to school with full days and the right to breathe freely. As a single mama of a hard of hearing babe and a hairdresser, this experience has not been the easiest for our household. While I know we all have a story after this last 18 months or so, it is your job to hear the stories of the families and the students of how they've been affected and how you, their trusted board, can help them through this. From what I've seen and heard, this has not been the case. I'm also grateful that I've experienced working with many of your school staff and paid subcontractors while having a child with a 504 in your district. Knowing that as a parent of this particular district, if you want to accommodate your child in their learning, you truly have to fight for these accommodations. That's why I'm totally comfortable being here today. This is not my first battle with the district. A friend of mine in a high position in the schools once told me not to be intimidated when walking into a 504 meeting with the stern faces that the staff makes and not to cave to their opposition to provide my daughter and keep moving forward with my request. My daughter needed that FM system I was requesting and not the old discontinuum that was being offered. What I was wanting was absolutely warranted and would provide my daughter the equal access as her peers and help to communicate in a classroom environment. She said I would really have to fight for this. And knowing that your schools were not, I'm sorry. She said I would really have to fight for this and I did. And I'm ready to do it all over again with these, par with these parents and their kids because I know your schools are not set up to accommodate a lot of them at this return. And just to cut myself off real quick, it's very clear that you guys are not prepared to accommodate the hard of hearing community because you guys have no closed captioning. You have provided nothing to help those who can't hear in any way and we cannot see your face. We cannot see your lips move. And you are already not providing. So that tells me exactly what this next school year is gonna look like for these hard of hearing kids. Also with that, I'm pretty sure there's a uh, FAPE laws, which is the Fair and Appropriate Public Education and the right to not discriminate against their disability my daughter cannot see her lips move. You are discriminated against her. So, to get back into today's situation where you guys are still not making it easy to provide the best education and true health care for all these children, these parents here today agree with me. They need help. Their children need help. These are not the privileged family that are supporting you and keeping you in your seats. These are the families that are struggling financially, emotionally, educationally, and so much more. Your district is losing amazing teachers who are packing up their classrooms this week because they refuse to send their babies in bacteria breeding masks for 48 hours a day. Now they will homeschool their children instead of teaching ours. This is such a loss for our community. You are losing bright, engaging, kind, and healthy children that love school and collaborating with peers because their parents are putting their true health and well-being over their careers and keeping them home. Some are able to pull their kids and put them in local private schools who are offering more options with less mask restrictions. Not everybody can afford this life, and that's why a free public education is so important. You all have the power to make a difference, but you are failing these families. You are failing these kids, and you are failing your community by not giving your community a chance to shine and show them that we can create a healthy educational learning environment for these children with mask choice. Somewhere where all kids can access education and oxygen. These, can, these families are standing up to you today because they don't want the crumbs of education that you are offering. Not after we have spent our summers with friends and organized sports, extracurriculars, birthday parties, and family vacations all over the place with no masks on. I want to know why this district isn't taking creative measures to help these amazing families part and part of their school community in serving all children. Again, this is your job. How lucky you are to still have one. Not all these parents can stay the same. Please honor your role and respect these families that are crying out for help. Again, they are here because they need help. Do not demean them, be of service to them. This is about the kids, not you. Thank I you. encourage you to start building bridges with these families and stop bashing them. Thank I you. encourage you and this long-standing board personnel with your years of experience to please use it and be an example. Be kind leaders. Teach our kids how to be kind leaders while you're at it. And I encourage you to truly look at what's happening and get creative in a way to serve these kids the best way you possibly can you. or get out of the way so somebody else can.
girls can, who will continue to have hard times. Because with these masks, younger kids, as in kindergartners, and I have lots of little friends who are from like three to six and stuff, and they are learning how to speak and communicate with their peers and socialization and to learn how to form words. And with these masks, they cannot see if their teacher is wearing a mask and if their peers are wearing a mask, how are they supposed to see how to communicate and how to form these words? And children, we are our future. We are your future. You guys got to live a life where you got to be free. And you guys live in a society where everybody had a choice. You, you had, you had, it, you had it good. Now here, <laughs> we. I don't see barely any of my friends because so many different things. I don't have a social life anymore. Before I was very, very social, had many friends. I went to dance multiple days a week. I went to school every day. And now I sit at home and I don't do anything. I don't see my friends, I don't do any of this. And when, I'm like, sorry. <laughs> do it, just take a breath and go. <laughs> um, but like I said, children, we are your future. You got to live this life of society and all that. We don't get to have that. We are stuck with these masks and social distancing and we don't get to have that experience you had. So you are keeping us from living to our full potential yeah, and right. keep giving you guys the, the later future. And I hope that you will make the right decision to give you and the children the future they deserve. Thank you.